Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. In this series, we will discuss about the Abu Dhabi University fully funded scholarship and that you can pursue the courses like bachelor's, master's in UAE. This scholarship is valid for the session 2024-2025 and we will show you the full process and detailed application process for this, how to do sign up and all the processes involved in this session. Before that, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel for scholarships and do follow us on Instagram page as well. The link for this Abu Dhabi University scholarship is given in the YouTube video description below. Check out the links there or you can check out the links in the YouTube about section. Links are given there as well. You can click on them or you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net and you can check fullscholarships.net here or cashmillook.com and you can also message us on Instagram or you can scan the QR code on Instagram and you can comment down below the Instagram scholarship post that I need the link. Link will be automatically delivered to your inbox. Now, once you have reached our website fullscholarships.net, you can check the information on this card here that the Abu Dhabi University is providing the scholarship for bachelor's and master's. This scholarship might vary in some countries regarding fully funded to partially funded or semi-funded and deadline for this opportunity is 16th of February and if you wish to study in UAE you can go for this scholarship in Abu Dhabi University. So list of Abu Dhabi University scholarships for 2024-2025 are listed here you can see starting from academic if you have good academic records you can get academic scholarship. If you have any of the alumni from there you can get alumni recommendation and scholarship. If you are an athlete you love football, sports, any activity you can get athletic scholarship and for UAE and GCC countries, Gulf countries they have other scholarships, family tuition fee waiver, merit based graduate scholarship and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Zaid scholarship is also there. So you can check 8 or 7 scholarships listed here is provided by this university regarding regardless of other international recognized scholarships. So ISDB scholarship is also there. So other scholarships, various scholarships are there, but they are the in-house scholarship of this Abu Dhabi University. How is the eligibility? Basic eligibility. Applying to bachelor's, you need high school. Applying to master's, you need bachelor's and high school. Applying to PhD, you need master's, bachelor's and high school. Just basic requirements and other documents like passport, photographs that are needed. And scroll down, you can see criteria regarding all the scholarships you need you wish to apply so you can see like for academic assistance you need to have this criteria post alumni postgraduate scholarship athletic scholarship and undergraduate program scholarship and individuals from same family who has already studied their the scholarship and his excellency uh, zaid scholarship which is 100% and you can see even the application services are also free then the required documents, passport, transcripts, photograph, etc. And then the application process is completely online. So you need to fill and have a formal acceptance. After you fill the application form, you will have a formal acceptance. You need that and student ID to fill the scholarship procedure. That's it. Simply how to do this, all the process, simply start with this link. Visit here to apply, click on this link here. Once you click on that, you can check the official Abu Dhabi University the website is here and admissions page is here. All the sections is here listed. You can check all the details, how to do every process it is mentioned. On the top right, see, you can see apply now or apply online is here and you can see apply now always there. So suppose I wish to apply, I'll click on this apply now or this both are same. So I'll click here and apply now. Once I click on apply now, it will take me to the another page where all the processes regarding how to fill the application will be there. So we will see that in a while before the page loads. I am re uh, reminding you that do follow us on Instagram and our username is Full Scholarships and also do subscribe to our YouTube channel Full Scholarships. So once you click on the apply now this admissions apply to ADU today will uh, be on your screen so scroll down here you can see apply now click on this it will take you to another dedicated page for the registration 
If you are here for the first time, you need to register your account here. Just choose your username, create a password, confirm password, enter your email, first name, last name, click on create account. Once you click on create account, this type of registration, verif registration verification code will be sent to you. You need to verify, come back to this page and verify your account and click on activate account here. And once you activate your account, you can come here and use the username and password that you created and just simply sign in. So let me do this sign in first and then get back to you. As you see, I have my user ID and password typed here. I'll click on sign in. So here you can see it's loading on the right hand side. Now you can see we are being transferred to the admissions portal and we don't have any applications here. So click on this create new application here. So set up security question before creating application. Okay, got it. So what was the, you can see what's your pet name, what's your favorite color. Suppose here I will mention, we can say done. Now, and once you select the question, you will be asked next question that is applying to undergraduate, postgraduate or short courses. Suppose I wish to go for the undergraduate, I'll click on continue. So now you can see we can create an application. So click on create new application here. Now I'll select undergraduate, click on continue. Now there will be an application form here. Applying to undergraduate, you can change it to postgraduate or short courses as well. I will start from the 2024, 2025 fall. And then I will choose the Abu Dhabi campus transfer. If you wish to transfer, like if you are studying in the middle of your semester, you wish to transfer to this university, you can do that as well. But I don't wish, I will start with the photograph. And here from my desktop, I'll just choose a sample photograph and upload it here. Now click on done. And this application will be here. Now start with the personal information. I'll start with the personal information, first name and last name. Then mother's name and her last name. And then your date of birth, this should be as per the passport. Do not make any mistakes here. And if you make any mistakes here, it will cause a lot of problem. Suppose I enter this date of birth, my gender, select the nationality you are from, select from the list here. And once you select that, enter the passport number and date of issue of the passport. Suppose I enter this passport and place of issue, suppose in my country and expiry date. I enter that date. Now, after that, select the religious preference and then country of residence. If you choose UAE, you have to enter the Emirates ID. But if you are international students, you, you don't need that. So select your country and it vanishes here. Last year it was not vanishing, it was there. But this, right now they updated the form and it's not there anymore. So let me enter the city and email and state phone. You can enter all these details. But these are not mandatory for me, so, so I'll skip this. But you just enter that. Now, here you can see, choose your majors. Preferences, P1. So select the course. I wish to go bachelor's in civil engineering. Concentration. So if there is nothing. Second, I'll go bachelor's in environmental. Here you can see, environmental engineering. I select that. And it is P1, P2 by default. So do you have any family members? No, I do not have. How did you come to know about this? So I'll say internet. Are you applying for international agent? Say no. And then click on save and next. So enter phone details. So it's asking for phone details. So let's So I'll take this as preferred and click on save and next. After you do that, you can check part two of four is there. So we have to fill the second part. That is the school studying. So I can say like 
Indian school, Indian high school and the degree that I had done there suppose I have done so I'll select the high school degree there so let me there are a bachelor's degree but it is here you can see CBSC science degree I have done and the high school CGPA so I I'll just mention that I had 9.5 CGP out of 10 so degree date so I'll just say suppose I have like for bachelor so it should be recent enough so I'll say January and I'll say November 1st 2023 last year I have completed and transcript date if there is so you can mention that if you have any other tests available you can submit that but I'll skip this but if you have you just go for it so international English language if you have so you can submit that if you had any other MSAT or any other in, uh, degrees that you have listed that are listed that are listed here sorry you can submit that and then click on save and continue now enter the emergency contact suppose I'll just submit uh, here a friend contact name and his telephone and then you can click on save and next so here you can see we can skip the English proficiency as well now upload the documents high school attested document what does it mean it means that you should get it attested from the embassy which you are applying to or your local higher education department so after uploading click on done now I'll upload a passport a sample passport here just do that and done similarly if it is a copy of resident it is mandatory only for UA resident so we are an international student we don't need this so what we do is copy of national ID it is also not for us then English test results suppose I'll just submit my English proficiency certificate from my previous high school that I have studied in English language I'll upload that click on done if you have international language test certificate do get that you can submit that then proof of number of years of schooling I have done 12 years of schooling I'll submit my 12th board examination certificate so that it such uh, it is valid certificate that I have completed for class 12 and that means I have done previous schooling as well then other documents if you have like achievement suppose my achievement is that I have a football certificate regarding athletics achievement or I have done any national games I'll submit that certificate here or if you wish to submit an ad, uh, additional motivation letter or the sample uh, like uh, uh, this cover letter you can submit that here if you have any of the additional recommendations you can submit now if you are UAE or uh, uh, Gulf country resident you can submit this copy of Faza and then this is for the Emirati as well if you are a national security in the uh, UAE then here is a police clearance certificate that you need to get from the local or district police or the city you are living in get it from your local station that you don't have any charges or any extra and then just get that signed here and upload that as well after that you have a good grade good conduct like you don't have any uh, like you have never been uh, like evicted from any of the organizations or you have not left studies due to any of the uh, like you can say disciplinary activity you have not been any of the against that discipline activity so that you don't have any issues with that so you, you must have a good conduct so that means you can get uh, it from your high school when you pass out so definitely they give you this certificate then I accept I certify and click on save and next to the last statement so here you can see if there is any fee you can submit that if you have coupon you can click yes here and enter the coupon code here suppose I have this dem demo coupon code it is not valid I click on no and just click on pay online fee if you wish to get this coupon code you can email them and ask them please give me this code writing an email wa uh, waiver or there might be a process you can contact them 
they might give you the process that this is the process you need to do and you can get this certification else you need to pay fee like this and once you do this all the process you can submit the application and you can go to the home page here and you can click on view application and once you do all this you can your status will be submitted on and valid up to all details will be here so right now that's the process and once you fill this process you get a student id you will get an id in the mail that you can use to fill the scholarship application this is the admission process all those who get the admissions offer letters they definitely get the scholarships as well that are listed on the website here among all these scholarships you are eligible to apply for any other scholarship that you are selected for so no need to worry keep checking our website fullscholarships.net and do also follow us on instagram page full scholarships and do check out our previous videos here and keep watching have a nice day ahead